Hello, people. Back again. And this time we're going all the way back to 1987, where ICOM Simulations released Shadowgate. Now, I played Shadowgate originally on the NES, but it was a basic point-and-click adventure game of the time that was popular on PC and, of course, home consoles are originally in the 80s when, you know, of course, like the 8-bit NES and stuff, those systems were going. Uh, this, was, they, this was like, let's just port these type of games to the system. And it was a typical point-and-click adventure game of its time. What I mean by that is a lot of games were like this where basically, uh, you know, you see straightforward what the character would see on the screen. And, you know, you would use your keyboard to move the character around. You only had limited choices on what kind of things you could do. Click, point, click on what you could actually do. And what made the world in these games stick out so much back then, not only was the words on the screen, but part of it was also your imagination. And this was one of the things of the time uh, back then, uh, more so than today, where your imagination just as much made the world believable to you as what was on the screen and, of course, the textual reading. And I had a lot of fun playing Shadowgate and games like this back then. I actually have it on my NES, but I'd have to dig it out right now, and I don't feel like digging them all out to find it. Though I am going to, because now I want to play it now that this news. But, back in uh, mid-2012, Zoja, I think their name, Z-O-J-O, -O, announced that they were doing a reboot of Shadowgate. Or remake, depending on what you call it, reboot, remake. Uh, and they launched a successful Kickstarter campaign uh, to start working on the game in October 2012. Well, they've announced that you can now pre-order the game for its release late summer this year. Now, obviously, right now you can pre-order the Windows PC version and the Mac version. They're also going to be released for the iOS and Android tablets late this summer, but obviously you'll buy that when it comes out. So there's three different price points if you want to buy this game from the website. Uh, the first one is the $14.99 price, which is basically just the game itself. You can pre-order the Adventure Pack for $19.99, which includes the game, wallpaper, and a digital Shadowgate calendar. If you're a big Shadowgate fan and want the, a cool digital calendar. Or the last one is the Hero Pack for $24.99, which also comes with everything above, and also a digital soundtrack, digital art book, beta tester access, and the game a week before it actually launches. Depending on how big of a fan you are, maybe one of these options are ones that you want. Now, I mean, I'm definitely going to be getting this game. Uh, I love Shadow, the original Shadowgate, and I really do. I haven't played a, a point-click adventure game in a long time. It would be kind of cool to play one again. Now, there is a trailer out for this game, which is actually an article below, uh, if you want to watch it. And it is basically an old-school point-click adventure game with modern graphics. Where like, okay, here's a dragon, and he animates viewing fire all over the screen. You know, obviously the graphics are much better than what you had back, obviously, when it originally came out. So explain how good the animations are. Uh, these new animations, they are 4K capable animation. So they are very high res animations, uh, artwork, and uh, they also include, of course, includes new puzzles and rooms. Now here's one of the cool features of this game. Both the fully orchestrated score of the NES version soundtrack and the original soundtrack are available to listen while you're playing. So it just depends on which one you prefer. You could either listen to each one of these soundtracks. You want to hear the old school NES soundtrack, you could listen to that. Or if you want to hear the original soundtrack for this game, you can listen to either one of those. Choices are always good. Again, I love point and click adventure games. I love those older school PC type, Mac type point and click adventure games that were ports obviously the consoles and stuff. And it is cool that Shadowgate's come back, because to me, some series are worth coming back. I think some series have a name and are worth coming back. I mean, Ultima's coming back, but it's not being called Ultima, right? I mean, it's coming back, you know, Lord British, it can't, they obviously can't call it Ultima because they don't own the name. But uh, So what do you think about the fact that Shadowgate is coming back, getting a remake, a reboot, with 4K artwork, with really high quality artwork? At a reasonable price, really, if you just want the game for fourteen ninety nine, that's a very reasonable price uh, for a game made today. So, would you buy a point-and-click adventure game like this new Shadowgate? Or when it pre-order it when it comes out? Are you the type of person that point-and-click adventure games were that of the time, and you're not interested anymore? Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys 
Later.